Hi, I'm Isla and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share a tour of my desk and all the tools that I use in my work as a designer and how I spend the day creatively. I have worked from home for quite a long time, for about six years, and I suppose, like most people, I kind of go through the roller coaster of sometimes enjoying it, sometimes less so. This is actually an Edwardian card table. It's very tiny, but that's great for me because I'm only five foot one. It did used to be in the hallway until I realised it was freezing out there, so I moved it into the sitting room. And as I started to work for myself, I needed a bit more space. So the desk went from being folded and neat <laughs> to now being folded out, but I absolutely love it. These days I work digitally. So this is my iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. And then I also work on my MacBook Pro laptop. And I have a very different relationship with the iPad. So this is where I do all of my drawings. And I suppose it's just a very creative place for me. The laptop is more where I do my emails and I do sort of Photoshop, Illustrator, artwork, preparation. So yeah, the iPad, I just, I'm still three years on completely mad for and love it. You usually have a little pile of swatches. So these are some of my wallpaper designs. That's my pansy. I've got another design here called Lucy Silk Ribbon. So there's usually some kind of pile of swatches on my desk. And actually I have this lamp from Ikea, which isn't a shop I enjoy very much at all. I've only been twice in my whole life and I practically ran out the door. But I've got this angle poise lamp and it's really good. And also I have got a daylight light bulb, which is really important if you're a designer or someone like a painter that needs to match up colors. So it's not a yellow light and it's not a really blue light. It's the color that naturally mimics daylight so that I can be really accurate when I'm checking something like my Pantone book. There's usually a Pantone book on my desk and so I can just make sure that the colours that I choose in my design are going to absolutely match up for production. So since I've been working digitally I think my brush pots and things have become a little bit more redundant but they're so pretty these ones. I actually got them from a tabletop shop tabletop sale rather in Norfolk but like most designers I'm pretty fussy about things like stationery so I really love these kind of technical pencils this is like a Koi no and it's actually got like a little sharpener on the end and then these kind of thicker leads so they're great as are the kind of thinner ones and I've got loads of these and tiny tiny leads. I also really love this actually. It is called a Carico. Carico? I think that's how you say it. Fountain pen. What's great about this is it's tiny and you just unscrew it and then you screw the lid back on like that and then you've got a really tiny petite fountain pen that fits in your bag I think it's really great with fountain pens. Whenever I write in fountain pens, you just commit it to the mind a bit more, I think. And then there's a myriad of colours, ink colours. I love these. Diamine is a great brand. But I have got the kind of suction thing to squeeze up bottled ink, which is obviously better for the environment because it's less plastic. But I absolutely love this little pen. It's really light for my tiny hands and I love it. There's a few other things that are quite nostalgic. So obviously I've got lots of metal rulers and things, but I just couldn't be without my childhood ruler, which isn't the most helpful because I'm mostly using a tape measure, but it's got all of the kings on the back, which is very sweet. Trusty headphones. I have got a couple of playlists on Spotify that I just love and they, sort of really get me in the in the zone I guess and I know that when I put my headphones on and I start with the playlist I'm just gonna get into my head into work and I can just fly and then I've always got a million notebooks by my desk these days I kind of prefer 
a bit more pen and paper and just sort of tick things off and throw them away and make new lists. These are some of my paper cut collages and I have a mirror behind me and it's not for looking at myself, it's because I enjoy the light being bounced around the room. It's not the prettiest mirror, but it's sort of functional. So yeah, that's it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Please think about hitting the like and subscribe if you'd like to see more things like this. And let me know if there's any tools that you think are must-haves and that you really like using. And I'll be back with another video very soon.